Elevation. Spread the word. Let them know we live. Let them know we alive on the site. Peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai, we live. Welcome to Class Reflectiations. We in here. How y'all feeling? Let's build. Spread the word. Let them know we live real quick on the website. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Let me nigga rig it. Let me nigga rig it. There we go. I see y'all coming in. 130 live viewers, how y'all feeling? Reflections, we on here for the Simeon Toko lecture. I've been anxious to get to this lecture. We finally here. As you know, all lectures isn't for the webs. I mean, isn't for the public, all right? Certain lectures will dive into certain things about metaphysics and quantum physics that just cannot be expressed publicly. But to everybody tuning in, let me just say, no, I'm sending you nothing but peace. Nothing but peace, positive energy, all right? Positive energy, a lot of positive energy. That's all we need right now, staying strong in the end game. You hear me? We in the end game, y'all. So all the reflectiations notice. Spread the word, let them know we live. I see y'all coming in here. What it do? All right, so go on Twitter, let them know we live. Go on Facebook, let them know we live. Go on Instagram and let them know we live. All right. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let y'all keep piling in here, though. I see y'all at 170. We're going to wait. Three hundred. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome to class. Welcome to class. Reflections. We are live and in the flesh. Y'all go on the forum, spread the word, let them know we live, let them know we live. Five, what that, 550, 550 live viewers. What it do, reflections, I see y'all coming in. Somebody asked me, like, man, God, you ain't been rolling up lately. You crazy? I have been rolling up lately. It's just that when I get on, I already be smoked out like I am now. You feel me? I be getting super smoky. You know I'm gaseous clay. I got something over there I just finished rolling. How y'all feeling? Welcome to class. Welcome to class. If you got, if you can take your weed, if you, if you smoke, roll your weed up. If you drink, get your drink. It's Friday. I know a lot of motherfuckers is, at, is out here doing everything else other than getting this intellect, getting this insight, understanding where they need to be going. Okay? We're not judging nobody. If you can't catch the live lecture right now, you will catch it later. Okay? You will catch it later if you can't catch it right now. All right? Come on in. Come on in. All right, so we had a thousand live viewers. That's enough right now. Everybody gonna keep coming in. So look, before we get started, it's imperative that I open this lecture with the right spiritual energy. So first, let me start by saying peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. I appreciate each and every one of you deeply. We're in the end game. We're in this war right now. It's ravaging all around the planet. All right, so the ancestors sent me here tonight on this beautiful evening to enlighten your souls about a very powerful being that walked the planet not that long ago. And um, that's what we're gonna talk about today in the university. So uh, let me start by just respecting my elders and those that came before me. For those 65 and older in the university, we appreciate your energy, we respect you deeply and dearly, all right? Um, a lot of y'all don't even be on the internet, but you get on the internet just to catch these lectures. So we appreciate that. Um, just know we fighting hard. This fight doesn't just include our generation. We have you in mind every time we battle, every time we meditate, with everything we do. We always talk about the elders and the ancestors. So 
We want to see y'all the deepest of our, of our respect. Okay? Let's get that understood. Now, to my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, welcome to the university. Okay? Welcome in. Welcome in. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know we in the end game. Y'all know what time it is. We can't, we can't change our frequency. We can't change who we are, what we represent, or what we stand for. It's fuck the police, fuck the system, fuck the CIA, fuck the elites. We know where we stand. In this end game, we're going we gonna to kick it raw in here. We ain't backing down from no truth with nobody. We ain't backing down from no friction with nobody for spreading the truth. All right, I ain't being attacked by um, government officials right now for spreading the truth. And false allegations which will not stand the pass. You hear me? All right? So... To all, and that's not just me, they're attacking me, they're attacking a lot of guys and goddesses right now that's waking up as the frequency increases. All right, so to all the guys, this, this my peers, understand, like I always tell you, we the bridge. So the elders on that side, they already made it across. We're trying to get over this water. We're trying to get over, not even this water, we're trying to get over this body of lies. Hear me out. So you got the elders, okay? Our elders, they already made it over the bridge. But we the bridge, okay? And we the bridge, and we are the bridge that connects the youth to the elders. And below us is a body of lies. And we can't let the youth fall into that body of lies, trying to come across that bridge to reconnect with the elders. And we can't let the elders even think about going back across the bridge. You feel me? And we are the bridge. So we must stay united and unified in full unification. No matter how much they modify this matrix to try to make us believe that we don't see what the fuck we see in, we know what we see in. You feel me? We know what we see in. So to all my peers, I appreciate you deeply. Nothing but divine appreciation for you. Nothing but sending nothing but protection your way to all my peers, okay? Now to the youth, those 21 and under, roll up. You know, y'all little ass be rolling up anyway when y'all mama ain't around. See, me, I understand how this shit go. So, I'm not going to act like motherfuckers 14, 15, 16, 17 ain't doing everything under the sun. That's what you feel as a, as, a, as a parent when you forgot what it was like to be a teenager yourself. So, I connect to the youth. I understand that they are victims of, of our lack of intent. You know, the generations before them. And they go for my generation and others and others on their, on their own. So we got to be precious with the youth. They just got here. The souls just got here. But they but they are ancient souls. Huh? Their souls just got here. But they are ancient souls. Hear me clearly. All right, this the youth. So I need the youth. I need y'all to dive in deeply on this lecture. Because tonight, today we're going to talk about the real black Jesus and that's what Simeon Toko was kind of known as. And we're going to touch on him real quick. So Simeon Toko was a Congolese leader. This man, he was um, a well-respected leader of, of the Congolese people. This is in the Congo and what they call Africa. Now, we know that there's no such thing as Africa, right? Because Africa was named after Scipio Africanis, which was a European settler. Actually, a European conquistador. So conquistador is just a slick ass word for saying they conquered your ass. Okay, when you have that Spanish conquistador shit, that's just a slick ass word for saying they conquered your ass. That's all it means. You hear me? But that's what he was. So I don't really like to use the word African or when I refer to our people over there on that side of this of this huge landmass because you know. You don't have to cross the water to go to Africa. I've told many that, okay? But Simeon Toko was the leader of his people. And he, his, 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 I mean, he had a ministry, right? But it didn't last that long. Like, um, we smoking that indica got me extra extra yawning. I ain't even sleepy. I'm just yawning like a motherfucker smoking that indica. That indica. Okay. But you know, basically Simeon Toko, all right, he was considered a leader of his people and his, ming and his ministry didn't last that long. It was only like maybe six months to a year max. Okay. But in this short time, he touched so many people and 
at that time, the people in the Congo were under, you know, were at war with certain other African sects that were enslaving them. Now, we already understand that the people that enslaved the Africans actually work for the elites. They work for the agenda. OK, so the people in the Congo have been dealing with this issue. All right. And they were being beaten. They were being mistreated. I mean, and just like any time all throughout history, when you see a revolt, when you see individuals revolt, it's because they understand what's going on. Just like any time in history, you know what I'm saying? Haitian revolt, when individuals revolted over here, they understood that third eye was open, their brown, their brown chakra, their brow chakra, excuse me, had been activated. So by the brow chakra being activated, they were fully aware of what's going on. And they began to revolt in the Congo. And of course, with revolt came a lot of death and violence and fear struck the people. However, it was one guy named Simeon Toko. He, he, he moved on a different level. Okay. So because he was vibrating so high, he was leaving energetic imprints all throughout the Congo and it was spreading. And this is how he was able to grab so many people to his ministry because he was sent by uh, the ancient ones. OK, to help reignite a spark plug in the Akashic record. See, when Simeon, what Simeon Toko did, a lot of people that's Congolese in the Congo, they believe that that only affected them in the Congo, but it did not. He left an energetic imprint. That affects the Akashic records of the entire planet. The, the planet is has an electromagnetic frequency to it. So that means the planet herself has her own, her own aura with her own etheric bodies and on and on and on and on and on. So you can leave energetic imprints here that would affect the Akashic records. The Akashic records can only be accessed two ways. Because if you ask them, what are the Akashic records, they can only be accessed two ways, okay? The Akashic records can only be accessed if for you to go deep within. You have you need a soul to do that or to travel outside the ice wall of the realm. All right. You can get there that way as well physically. Now, what exactly are the Akashic records just to catch those up who don't know? So the Akashic records is this holographic library that records all of Earth's energetic imprints. OK, so that means any time. What's an energetic imprint? OK. Anytime you speak, you leave an energetic imprint. Anytime you think a thought, you leave an energetic imprint. Okay? And everything that you done, done, have done in the physical, be it good or bad, you left an energetic imprint. So literally, everything you ever thought, said, or did is on record in the Akashic Records. It's a holographic library. And you can literally go back to anybody's thoughts. You can go back to anybody's words and play the shit over and over again, just like in Ready Player One, which I still have a lecture coming up on Ready Player One. But this is the Akashic record. So this is why they say in the Bible, um, 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 the, like when they talk about how God sees everything, um, they make you think that they talk that they're talking about a God in the sky. No, me and you are God. The God, the goddesses and the gods, though, that's the God. We that's the God. And we are everywhere. He is everywhere because he's everything because we are everything. OK, but these Akashic records. All right. Are what they talk about in the like in the Bible and code when they let you know that not a day is forgotten. Everything you do is recorded. It's not recorded like with no group of, you know, white angels naked, you know, naked ass white babies with wings on their on their back. That's not what um how all everything that was ever done was recorded. Like cause in the Bible and the religion, they make you mainstream mainstream religion and Western religion and Western theology makes you believe that if you um 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 that if you you know do things the organic way that you are outside the norm okay now why am i saying that because in western theology which would be religion all right the study of religion all right you can see that they made everybody believe that everything that you do, they tell you that it, it is written down and it's documented, but they make you think it's some it's some weird motherfucker up in in a, in a wild white heaven with some motherfucking wings with a book writing everything down. But that's not what's going on. Everything you do and think and say and speak is you leave an energetic imprint because you are electricity. You are energy. Six, six, six. You are electricity and you are you are you are magnetism. So that's why you yourself have an electromagnetic field to you, which they call an aura, because you have electro. Electro is short for electricity and, and, and electromagnetic. So magnetic comes from you having magnetism in you, which is the soul. 
All right, this is your, this what gives you the ability, the unique ability to attract whatever you want to you because the, 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 the magnetism of the soul is so powerful. All right. All right. So now that you can understand and we know what the Akashic record is, you got to understand that Simeon Toko was directly affecting the Akashic record, leaving his energetic imprint for this Kundalini rot to rise right now. And not just him, many that came before him, they all took parts in leaving energetic imprints that will act as 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 um think how runway lights act for an airplane. When we coming from the higher realms before we come through our mother's womb, we in full power of who we are. We know who we are. So we descending into this realm. We descending into this flesh. We're descending from higher realms into the solid realm. Remember, we come from the astral realms, which is higher than the, you got solids, liquids, gas, plasma energy, and then the astral realms higher than plasma energy. Okay? So we come from those realms and we descend down. That's why in Avatar, they, I mean, I mean, uh, in the movie Soul, they show those little souls descending from higher realms, higher vibrations. Okay, so when a plane is coming in and flying in at night, along the runway, they have all these lights to let the, the direct the plane, the plane along its path, so that it can land correctly. Okay, we have the same thing. It's these energetic imprints that get left. So as we coming in, we know like, okay, we got to continue this, do that, do this, do that. That wasn't done though. We see all that coming in, and we come through the womb, we still have all that retained until they hit us with nanobiotechnology. All right, so understand that Simeon Toka, why was he called Black Jesus? He was called.